What's up guys, today we're gonna be talking about the ghost, Ave. Ave actually means ghost in Finnish. So today we're gonna be talking about what Ave is, the pros of it, a concern that I actually have of it, and some cons. And then we're also gonna be talking about some speculations and a possible price prediction, which might shock you. So if you're interested in this type of content, then make sure to do me a favor by minting me a subscription down below. And in anyways, guys, let's just get started. So what is it? Ave is a DeFi protocol that allows people to lend and borrow crypto. Originally, it was known as ETHLAND when it launched in November of 2017, but was rebranded to Aave in 2018. So the founder is Stanley Kolachov, and he's been amongst the crypto space for a while now, and he's an avid programmer who went to law school. Lenders provide liquidity by depositing their cryptocurrencies in a pooled contract. Simultaneously, in the same contract, the pooled funds can be borrowed by placing a collateral. And I found the white paper to be very straightforward and very educational. At the heart of a lending pool is the concept of a reserve. Every pool holds reserves in multiple currencies, with the total amount in Ethereum defined as total liquidity. A reserve accepts deposits from lenders. Users can borrow these funds, granted that they lock a greater value as collateral. Only low-risk tokens should be considered, and the amount one can borrow depends on the currencies deposited still available in the reserves. Every reserve has a specific loan-to-value, or LTV, calculated as the weighted average of the different LTVs of the currencies composing the collateral where the weight of each LTV is the equivalent amount of the collateral in ETH. Every borrow position can be opened with a stable or variable rate. Borrows have an infinite duration and there is no repayment schedule. Partial or full repayments can be made at any time. In the case of price fluctuations, a borrow position might be liquidated. A liquidation event happens when the price of the collateral drops below the threshold, called the liquidation threshold. Essentially, a lot of people will get wrecked when the price of their collateral will fall below the threshold. And in this case, a lot of people in the market will always ask, you know, what's the reason for, you know, Bitcoin or other assets are going down. And in reality, a lot of people are essentially just getting liquidated. And this is a big cause for volatility in the market. So reading from CMC, circulation is linked to the total value locked on Aave as tokens are burned whenever the protocol gathers fees. An initial coin offering was held in November of 2017, where $16.2 million was raised by selling 1 billion Aave tokens at a rate equivalent to 0.0162 if piece. At the same time, 23% of Aave tokens were assigned to its founders and the project. Aave tokens have been built based on the ERC-20 standard, and they are designed to be deflationary. In the event of a shortfall in the DeFi protocol, stake tokens would be used as collateral as a last resort. In July of 2020, Aave unveiled plans to hold a token swap. This means that the 1.3 billion Aave tokens in circulation would be swapped for the newly minted Aave cryptocurrency at a ratio of 1 to 100 creating a total supply of 16 million Aave. 3 million of this would be held in reserve. And so you might be asking, well, what can you do with an Aave token? And this is taken from Kraken.com. To facilitate this activity, Aave issues two types of tokens, A tokens issued to lenders so they can collect interest on deposits, and Aave tokens, which are the native token of Aave. The Aave cryptocurrency offers holders several advantages. For instance, Aave borrowers don't get charged a fee if they take out loans denominated in the token. Also, borrowers who use Aave as collateral get a discount on fees. Aave owners can further look at loans before they are released to the general public if they pay a fee on Aave. Borrowers who post Aave as collateral can also borrow slightly more. So really, Aave tokens hold a value and there's a few different use cases as I just mentioned here. So looking at the chart here, you can see that on December 20th, it was trading at around $180 and then it had this massive rally up until around $200 and $77. So let's take a look at that and see this gain actually. So yeah, okay. 69% of a gain, the lucky number, right? And that was over the course of seven days, so quite a lot. And as of right now, actually, it's been cooling down quite a bit. So in reality right now, actually, the entire market is taking a little bit of a hit with Bitcoin dropping quite a lot at this point. And Aave and all the other coins essentially are just following suit right now. I was actually expecting Aave to continue a support here at around 250, and then it broke that, and then it hit this support at around 230 and i was thinking that it was going to stick at that and it's right now just hanging around at 218 217 and i'm thinking that if bitcoin remains kind of bearish this second it could break that again and then fall around to 180 or something like that which i think would be probably a good buying opportunity for myself personally not 
uh, any financial advice, of course, but yeah, that's just my thought. So overall, the second, the chart is looking a little bit bearish, but long term, I'm extremely bullish on Aave. So right now, the liquidity protocol has $25 billion in its reserve, the second, quite insane. And here you can see on their website, just, you know, the amount that you can borrow, the APY that you could be getting for these specific tokens. And yeah, really, honestly, it's a, it's a really cool you know, platform. And it's really interesting. The coolest thing I think about crypto loans is that you don't need to have any type of credit check or anything like that. You just need to throw up your, you know, your own crypto as collateral and then you're okay. So this article was just recently posted to accelerate its growth. The DeFi money market platform Aave has revealed plans to launch a new mobile wallet for users in 2022. It is also set to expand to Curve Finance and SushiSwap to scale its markets. In fact, scaling of the Aave protocol could boost Aave's user base while pushing on-chain activity on the platform. Aave has launched its institutional product. Aave Arc will cater to financial institutions and corporates, giving them a way to borrow digital assets and capture the high yields DeFi offers within a sandbox regulatory environment. Another big thing. So I've never used Aave, but I wanted to find a review of someone who actually has. So here I found a review actually from two months ago, and this was written by this user here. And it says, today I used Aave for the first time. I've been waiting to use it for a while, but the ETH gas fees made it basically impossible. I knew about Polygon, but getting the anything moved to it just brought me back to the gas fee issue. I decided to start really looking for a solution and found an exchange that I had access to in the US that offered withdrawals of Matic directly to Polygon. I threw a few Satoshis at it and got some Matic on Polygon, swapped it for USDC and put it on Aave effortlessly. All for just barely over a penny. This was the first time using an ETH layer 2 DeFi. The other times I've used DeFi have been Yieldly on Algorand. Aave on Polygon was just an easy and cheap as Yieldly on Algorand. This only is the beginning of my DeFi adventures. So, and then a few other people said Aave is easy to use and it is a beast in itself. So really, I've only found positive things written about it online. I've not seen one negative thing about it. And this is really bullish. So here's another comment from someone else because I wanted to see, you know, what someone would say if we're comparing Aave to Compound, which is another borrowing platform. Here they said, I personally like Aave more as it's available on more than one platform, especially since Compound is only on ETH, which makes it unusable for the majority of the crypto population. So a lot of people have been talking, you know, highly positive about it this is a really good thing i'm not seeing one negative comment actually about it so if you're interested in buying ave but you don't know where to go kucoin has it listed and here if you're looking to find an exchange for alts KuCoin has plenty of alts. I believe they have over 500 different altcoins. You can register and trade via my referral link to enjoy a 10% discount on trading fees. So if you want cheaper trading fees, you can use my link in the description below. And by the way, I made a video about Phantom and why I believe Phantom is going to explode. If you're curious about FTM, then I highly encourage you to check that video out. So if you wanted to compare Aave's market cap with other coins or tokens, let's take a look at that. If Aave had Bitcoin's market cap right now, then the total price of one Aave would be $60,000, an upside of 273x. So there is quite a lot of price potential that Aave actually has. So right now Aave is around the 50th position. It's kind of bouncing around in that area. But if it had the same market cap as for example, VeChain, then the price of one Aave would be $409 or an upside of 85%. And if we're also comparing that with others, for example, if it had the same market cap as of Litecoin the second, then it would be at a potential price of $694 or an upside of 214%. And then if it had the same position as Sheeb the second, Second, it would be a thousand two hundred dollars or an upside of four hundred and fifty percent so really there's a lot of potential for the price to increase by a lot for example if it had the same market cap as if usdc right now it'd be worth three thousand two hundred dollars uh, an upside of 13x so personally i can see it easily being in the 20th to the 35th position i i see it in that area which would put it at a potential range of a price of around seven hundred dollars to a price of around 
around $392 or an upside of 77%. That's kind of my target on where I think it's going to be in the future. As for when, I'm not exactly sure. We kind of have to wait for Bitcoin and the rest of the market and see what they're going to be doing. So anyways, guys, what did you think of this video and what do you think about Aave? What are your price predictions and where do you think it's going to be in the future? I'm really curious. Anyways, guys, if you're interested in this type of content, do me a favor by subscribing. And anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.